Good morning. Welcome to Red River Card Adventures. This is Meetup with Mason. I'm your host, Mason. And today on the show, we have Charles again, which is amazing. Uh, he's back teaching us how to juggle. So, uh, hi, Charles. Hello, Mason. How are you today? I'm pretty good. How about you? I'm great. Lots of things in the air. Busy, busy, busy. <laughs> uh, but here, I'm here to teach you how to juggle, aren't I? Yes. So I should stop this. So, yeah, sure, whatever. Would you like to learn how to juggle? Yes. Do you think they would like to learn how yes. to juggle? Awesome sauce. I would love to juggle. By the way, my name is Charles from Clowns, Magicians, and More. And, yeah, they're pretty cool. You should go check them out. Yeah. But first, we're going to teach you how to juggle. The thing about juggling is it needs something to juggle, which is why I brought this big, giant pile of juggling balls that I have made, because I wanted to show everybody how to make them. Right. They're super easy, and they're super cheap. Do you think, Mason, that you have rice in your house? Yes. Do you have sandwich bags for uh, sandwiches at school? Uh, yes. Well, there you go. That's all you need. Do you have balloons? Yeah. Yeah, uh, just say yes. Go with the bit, man. Come on, uh, shush. Anyway, so that's, what, that's all this is. This is a sandwich bag with like a third or a half a cup of rice in it. You put the rice inside the sandwich bag, you close that up, try not to have any air inside. So you have like a little weird little ball of rice or bird seed or beans, whatever weird bird little dry seeds. thing you want to put on. You take your balloon, you cut the neck off, so you just sort of have like a little balloon cup, and you stretch that over top of your bag of rice. Whee! Until you have like um, a cup of rice, I suppose. Stretch it. Do it. Hold on. You want to fold, because you want to roll this guy We're gonna in do this here. One. We're going to do this one. Yeah, go ahead. Push it in. Squish it. It's not like there's thousands of people watching. It's fine. There you go. Squish. Ah. All the way in. Not my finger. Do it. Then we have a little half bag of rice with the thing. We're going to take the other balloon and cover up that hole so the rice doesn't try to get out. Stretch it up. Stretch it over. Yes, you can do it, Mason. Get in there. It's your show. Show who's boss. I. Come on, hurry up. This is where it takes. This is what years of working with balloons does for you. Uh -huh. Find all the weird edges and pull them on. Get back in there. Yeah. It's somewhat simple. I know you made it look hard, but it's really easy. It's easy. I you have just... a ball for juggling. Oranges also work well. Tennis balls, okay, because they tend to run away. But we're here to teach you how to juggle, Mason. So first step, step number one, when you're learning how to juggle, you want to take the ball and you want to drop it. Because that's going to happen a lot. Even the best jugglers in the world still drop the balls, because gravity always wins. But when I take the first ball, you can hold it in your dominant hand. Perfect, you're gonna oh, sorry. <laughs> throw it up my leg, apparently. You're gonna stand with your feet shoulder width apart. Keep your knees slightly bent, nice and relaxed. Keep your elbows at your side. And you're gonna throw the ball up in the air a little higher than your head. So you can go whoop, ba da, and catch it in the other hand. Whoop, ba da, whoop, ba da. Whoop, ba -da. In every workshop I've ever taught, which I think is like six, every kid in the world is all, this is boring. Whoop. This is one ball. Even my dad Whoop. can throw Whoop. one ball. Whoop. So the Whoop. point is, you got to throw the ball back and forth, a little higher than your head, and try to be super consistent, always throwing the same way, catching it with the other hand, keeping your elbows at your side. Whoa, la la, which is, mm. yeah, not very exciting. Mm. You want to throw some excitement? Throw it over your shoulder and drop it on the ground. No, come back. Throw it under your leg. Extra fun stuff for later. Try not to hit yourself in the crotch. Okay. <laughs> Catch it on your head. Right. Other weird stuff. But would you like to continue on, Mr. Mason? Yes. Should we go on to step two? Two? I step two, you need two balls. I see you only have two. Yeah. Two balls. Now, this is pretty much the key. This is the important step of learning how to juggle. You can take one ball in your dominant hand. One ball, one ball in your less dominant hand. We're going to throw the ball in your dominant hand up above your head. And when it comes down into the other hand, you're going to throw this ball underneath. You're going to want to count. Counting helps to separate all of the movements. You're going to go one, two, three, like that. And then you're going to stop. 
One, two, oh. See, well this is, like I said, this is the key motion. This is the biggest part of the juggle. One, two, three. Everything in the juggle is uh, keys One, off of this. Two, three. Now for those of you at home, a lot of people will want to do this. Because we are all taught to throw with our dominant hand. So everyone is used to doing it. Don't do that. We also, everyone wants to throw at the same time. Huh! Except we got to separate all the movements to make sure they, that they work. Which is why we want to count, because counting helps your, mind, your brain separate the movements. That's why it's one, Ooh, two, three. Or throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch. Oops. Throw, <laughs> throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, 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 throw catch, 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 catch. And if you want to impress all of your friends when you're learning how to juggle, you can juggle two balls in one hand. Uh, which isn't as impressive as I hope. Oh, I can do it. But it is kind of fun. How are you doing, Mason? Uh, all right, all right. Clearly you need more balls. All right. More. Not at the same time. Oh. Just, you know, if you throw, drop them on the ground, you don't have to bend over. Mine indeed. <laughs> That's like thirty three bucks. Three dollars? Can I three dollars? You can have all of those. Not right now we're busy. <laughs> all right, you guys work on step two. One, two, three. One, two, three. And everybody at home should work on step uh, two. One, two, three. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. And when you're really good at that with the one side, you're gonna start with your non-dominant hand. Go one, two, three. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Throw, throw, catch, catch. Until you can do both hands equally even and it all looks the same. Because juggling is 90% throwing and 10% the catching. If you know where the ball is supposed to go, then you'll usually go in the right place. Whee! And it also helps you don't have lights in your brace. How are you doing, Mason? All right. Are you comfortable? Yeah. Make sense? Would yeah. you like to try three? Yes. Okay, we will try three. And we're kind of pushing it just because now we're just staring at us uh, practicing, which is exciting, I know. Yeah. But <laughs> entertainment is entertainment. So, uh, what not to do is kind of weird. If you want to juggle three at the same time, nobody ever uh, falls for this, but I do like to try it. See if, it see, see if you like it. See if you like this as juggling three. Three balls the same. I start with two. Start with the two balls at once. Very impressive, very exciting. Now, three balls at the same time. Are you ready, Mason? Yes. Here we go, three balls at once. Whew. Can you count me off? Can you count to three? Uh, one, two, three. Okay, three balls at once. Here we are. La da da da. Hey, this is way harder than you think it is. Hey! You stay there until you learn it. Don't pick them up. I didn't pick them up. Okay, but for real this time. You want to learn three? Yeah. Okay, you're going to start with two balls in your dominant hand. Which one's your dominant? Are you right-handed right or left-handed? Handed. Right-handed? Like most normal people? Not yep. like us weird clown people? All right, two in your dominant hand. One in your not dominant hand. You're going to start with two balloons in your dominant or the, the two balls in your dominant hand. You're going to throw one ball up in the air, a little above your head. And when it's coming down, you're going to throw the ball in your not dominant hand up underneath it. And you're going to keep throwing the balls up and down. And you're going to count to four this time. Okay. So just watch me for one moment, Mason. You go one, two, three, four. Or throw, 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 catch. One, two, three, four. Okay. If you stop at four, and your brain remembers the success, and it's super awesome. So give it a try. That's not bad. One, two, three, four. One, one, two, three, three four. Mm. Mason, that's why we have all these extra ones. Okay. Stop running off the screen. One, two. Mm -mm. How many am I going to have? Oh, my God. One, two, three, four. Mason, Mason. Boop. Try to throw them a little bit higher, Mason. Higher? Okay. Mm -mm. Also, okay, you're also, this is what you're doing right now, Mason. You're throwing them straight up and down. Go, uh, 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 uh. Which is actually pretty common, to be honest. With most people learn how to juggle and teach themselves, they do this, and then it's much, but it's much harder to see all the patterns that way. That's why you always want to do it sideways. 
Now I'm just dropping them because it's fun. I can't stop dropping them. I know, it's like people are staring at us. Okay, hold on. All right. So you go one, two, three, four. One, two. A little bit one, higher, a little two. bit above your head. Sorry, okay. One, two, three, four. You, see, you have it. I can see it. You have the pattern. The pattern one, is good. Two, three. Now you just sort of figure yourself out. One, two, three, four. And then one, you just sort of keep going. Because okay. three balls at the same time is the same pattern as two balls. You just don't stop moving. And you can make it really tiny. And you can make it really big. And the higher you throw them, the more time you have. And you do weird tricks like <laughs> put it in your mouth. <laughs> so oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I can't. I can do a second. Wee. Oh, I. And how is everyone doing at home? I did it, and then I do another one. Well, you did it because I wasn't looking. That's the the important part. Nice. Yes. Yeah. More. I, I might not have brought enough of these things. <laughs> oh, I could. Do do do. do. <gasps> I do it. All right, and for those at home, uh, you don't have to stop at three. You can juggle as many as you want. The world record is in the double digits. I don't actually remember what it is. Like 22? Uh, is it? I don't know, something like that. Sure, why not? Uh, but there's only a few sort of factors to, to remember for that. For odd numbers, the balls cross over. So for threes, fives, sevens, nines, whatever excessive amounts of thousands and thousands of hours of practice you want to throw at it, the balls go across to each other. For even numbers, the balls do not cross, they stay on one side. So I can do four, which is really two balls in each hand. So you end up going even higher every time. Because the higher you go, the more time you have. But well, we can do four balls, which looks like that. No, I almost did it. Which is two balls in each hand. Gonna widen out your peripheral of it. Dude, you're making a huge mess, I my know. gosh. What the? Crap, dude. <laughs> I've thrown so many. You're going to have to get the broom later. I don't know. One, two. It's this. It's like it's when I go like this, this, and then I th uh, throw this one, and it just goes forward. Like. I got you. <laughs> I, had, I don't have any smaller ones for you right now. Here, try these guys for now. And this one. OK, I didn't throw them. Higher, high. higher. Above your head, bro. Well, you know what that is? It says the last one's coming down, and you're, you're kind of freaking out. You go, oh! And you just sort of, you're getting rid of it. You're throwing it away, because it's in your way. I did it. Oh, yeah! See? There we go. Big hand for oh, the mason. Oh, yeah! You Let's have go. now accomplished the juggling. Now, thousands and thousands of hours of practice later, you will be even more awesome. And then why would you even stop there? You can juggle pretty much anything. My favorite thing to juggle, <laughs> and if I thought about it, I could have brought them, is, is a chicken, a fish, and a plunger. Another very common thing for people to juggle are juggling clubs. They're super shiny. You're not juggling these today, but I will give you one for just a moment. You can see how sparkly. Don't eat it. <laughs> you don't know where it's been, dude. Oh, yeah. But much like the things, they, but the, the only difference is that these ones spin. So they are a bit larger, you just have to get used to the spin. More smashing of stuff. But another interesting and fun <laughs> juggling thing that we can do is a balance. So something I love to do while I wait for elevators is to balance stuff on my hands or my face. Uh, the very basic principle of a balancing a thing, and at home everybody can practice it with a broom, brooms are great for this, is to watch the top spot. If you watch the top of what you're trying to balance, it'll tell you where it's going to fall, and your hand can change position to fix it. And once you get used to balancing stuff, it is arguably easier to do on your face because it is closer to your eyes. So your brain has less time to, uh, needs less time to adjust. Same principle, it's harder to balance stuff on your feet than your face. Whee! Da -da -da -da. Oh. Oh. Yeah, hold on, Mason, come here, come here. Kind of the issue with your face. Right now, you're doing this. It's like 
it's, it's jutting out way over there. Yeah. Opposed to going straight up and down. It needs to be straight up and down for that to work. So, <laughs> straight up and down is like that. Can you give it a try? Uh -huh. uh, uh. Uh, yeah. It's not straight now. Now it's pointing straight to, to the camera. It's all <laughs> angry. You gotta point straight up and down. Oh, they might find it a little easier on your nose. Oh, no. oh. You don't have to bend backwards as much. Your nose, your forehead, your chin. There's lots of weird places you can do it. Oh. <laughs> Come ah. back in the light. Come back in the light. So like the juggling balls, the juggling clubs do uh, stuff, but they are more fun because they are bigger and spinnier. And mine are very sparkly. And just go Ta-da. But back to the stuff that we have on the table because everybody at home will have by now made their own set of juggling clubs with the rice from the pantry or dry beans or um, I wouldn't suggest cereal. Cereal is kind of light. My Cheerio juggle. Now I want to go make Cheerio juggling balls. Well, weird experiments to do at home. And now we will arbitrarily juggle for the rest of our time. Yep. Do, 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 do. It's a juggle, time. not dance. Is that dancing? Apple. Is that what that's called? I don't know. Montage time. Montage? <laughs> Montage! Wee! I did it. Yes, you did. Awesome. Now do it again. Okay. And again. And again. Also more. Also more than that. All the circuit arts are super awesome and super fun and great for you. They just take lots of time and practice. But they do impress the ladies, so that helps. See this? That's kind of fancy. Uh, you can start with one on your head and go. Oh, uh. yeah. Oh. Wee, wee, wee. <laughs> it is supposed to be fun, despite what the, sil the silence is telling you right now. Na, 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 na. Do, 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 do. Oh. Ow! I'm sorry. I've been injured. I'm sorry. <laughs> the clown is down. No. I'm gonna make. We're gonna do what? We're gonna do like three card monte now. See, now we're getting distracted. You're supposed to practice. What's You're supposed to be juggling stuff in the air. I made a smiley face. Do, 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 do. So when you manage to get to this pattern solid, you can try the tricks. Uh, a classic trick is tennis, where you throw one ball over the top. Hey, fine. Be a jerk. One ball over the top like so. Wee. Juggling two, one goes over. You do uh, columns. So you're like one in the middle, two on the sides. Make them cross over. It's weird circle stuff. Shower, which actually doesn't help what we're trying to learn, but whatever. Ah. Weird stalls on the ground. No, no it's mine. Is that four? Yeah. We went over four already. <laughs> There's so many jokes. I think I've lost him. He's weird now. What are you doing? All right, I think we got one. You gotta do your thing. Oh. It's outro time. <laughs> Thank you, Charles. You outro, I'll try not to hit you with a stick. All right, yeah, yeah. Don't walk away. Thank you, Charles. You gotta be on screen. For coming and teaching me how to juggle. It was actually fun. So it was so awesome. <laughs> you sound so surprised. <laughs> it was actually fun. They made me do things. <laughs> See you all soon. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, thank you. <laughs> for watching me with Mason. See ya. Bye. <laughs>